we are. Premier League is upon us. I know you're stuck in your hotel room, but excited for the Champions League? Yeah, it's nice to be back. Nice to be playing. And, you know, it's five days now of solid playing. So, looking forward to getting back out tomorrow. Obviously, playing Gary and hopefully get a, a first win under my belt and ease a little bit of pressure. But, yes, um, just need to get that first win. Repeat of the world final, where, as you've said, against Gary. In these blocks, is it so important to get points on the board early and make people chase you? I don't think it's about making people chase you. I just think it's good for your own confidence. You know, the, the longer it takes you to get a win and get some points on the board, the more you're chasing. And then, you know, it's, it's, hard, it's harder for yourself then. But yeah, it's nice to get a win early and get the pressure off and get, get yourself into the tournament. In previous years, you've said you've bombed too many points, drawn too many games. Is that something you're conscious of ahead of this campaign? No, not at all. I obviously, yeah, I've drawn a hell of a lot of games over the last couple of years, and you know, I, I lost out by a point last year, and you know, I finished fifth the last twice. But yeah, I'm in a better place now. I'm, you know, I'm world number one, world champ, and I think a lot of other players don't play. That well, say don't play as well. They play a lot better against me lately. But yeah, I'm just in a better place, and I'm playing well, which matters. And yeah, hopefully, I can get a win tomorrow against Gary get out of the blocks and, like you said, put pressure on other players and take the pressure off myself. You've openly said that you haven't felt like a world champion, but that's the first time I've heard you say it in that context. Is it starting to sink in that you are the best player in the world at the moment? No, I, I, I know I know I'm a world, the world number one in the world and the world champ, and I believe I am the best player in the world at the moment, but you know, it's just dif difficult circumstances. I just want to be able to show that trophy off and you know, take it to places where... You know, where I've grown up, back to my school, where I first started playing darts and just, just to my to my mates. And, and But it's just difficult. Uh, I feel like a world champ. Uh, you know, I just want those crowds back and everything that comes with it. Is there extra pressure or a bigger target on your back because of everything that you've achieved in the last year? People could say that, but I don't feel it. I mean, you know, I, I'm the world champ. I'm the world number one. I'm where everybody wants to be and... You know, I'm, I'm just looking down at people in the rankings now. Not not literally, but, you know, <laughs> I, I don't look down on people. But, you know, everyone's below me and, and they're all chasing me. So, you know, my job's sort of done. I just need to keep up my performances. But, you know, I've, I've done what a lot of people want to do and, and it's their job to, to try and get it and take that number one spot off me. Gezi, all the very best tomorrow, mate. Thanks very much, as always. No worries, cheers. Hi, Gezi. Um... So far, the Premier League might not have been that kind to you so far. Is that in the back of your mind in some way? No, I mean, I think it's probably just because it's a non-ranked event. Uh, I, I don't... But when, when they're ranked, this is like I call that different mentality, a different a different me that plays. Uh, I'm chasing ranking points and, you know, that's what that's what this circuit is all about to me. I just need a different mentality going into the non-ranked events, you know, the Premier League, the World Series and things like that. I don't. I just don't really seem to give. I I do give hundred percent, but I just don't get the best out of myself. Maybe just because they're not ranked. I don't know. You sort of did that with the with the Grand Prix last year. That was a tournament you hadn't previously said you'd like that much the format. But you know, it'd be nice to sort of tick this one off as well to a certain extent, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was the same with the Worlds as well. I just don't like the set format. I just think it's a leveler of a game. You know, is is those little sprints. You know, people can get the three and then, you know, you start again, you get to another three, you start again. But I prefer the formats where, you know, like the match play in the later stages, you know, first to 10, first to 16. You know, that, that, that should, that's when the, the, the cream does, does rise to the top, I think. And obviously for Welsh sport, it's been a, a strange old couple of weeks. I mean, I don't know if you watch the rugby. I mean, a big emotional night, but it'd be good to put some smiles on faces again. Yeah, exactly. It was nice to see Wales do well and win the championship. It was a bit disappointing to, for the French to get that late try and, and stop them getting the Grand Slam. But, you know, at the beginning of the tournament with, with a bunch of boys, the youngsters that they had, you know, it was no expectation on their shoulders. And, you know, I didn't really think they were going to do as well as they did. But fair play to them. They, they deserve it. They play brilliant. And, you know, there's a, a couple of new boys. You know, the the winger, Reece Summit Hewitt, is here. Fantastic player, wasn't even in the squad, you know, a couple of months before. And oh yeah, George North back to form in the centre, which is which is good. But you know, Johnny doing well as well in, in all the pro tours. So it's, it's a good good time for Welsh sport. Good stuff. Well, hope you keep it up and uh, thanks for your time. Cheers, Gerwin. No worries, cheers, bud.
I guess the, um, I get the feeling you're starting to feel a bit more positive about things now as opposed to when we spoke to you during the UK Open and the motivation level starting to come back as the bigger events start coming around. Yeah, I'm always motivated. It's just it's just the circumstances. It's not it's not the darts that I'm not motivated about. It's just life in general, and I think everybody's in the same boat. You know, this lockdown is just is difficult. You know, I'm enjoying darts. I'm motivated for darts. You know, every time I turn up, I want to be there. But sometimes in the past, I haven't. You know, for the for the smaller tournaments. But yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying darts. Why, why, why wouldn't I? But it's just. Um, just life in, in general with um, all COVID scene and everything, but yeah, it's getting back to getting back to where it, used, uh, it should be, and things are starting to open up again, and hopefully towards the end of the year get some crowds back. You finished fifth in the past two Premier League seasons. Is it something that's really high in your agenda to get into that top four and, and give yourself a chance of adding this trophy to your collection? Yeah, I've, I've had a few warm ups. Now. I've had a few cracks at the whip. So you know, every year I've got better and better, and yeah, hopefully I can. I think you know. I think I'm going to make the top four this year, and you know, I'm I'm there to top top the table, and I'm there to win the old thing. So, yeah, I'm not just there to get into the top four, but I'm there to lift the trophy up and finish the top of the tree as well in, in the group stages. And obviously, Gary first up on Monday. Is that one of the games that really gets the juices flowing as much as any other for you? No, no, I don't know. I take I take every game exactly the same. You know, I just concentrate on my own game, and you know whether I'm playing Gary, Michael, or or anybody, you know, is um, I concentrate on my own game and try and try and get the best out of myself, and you know, I don't uh, target any player differently, really. Cheers, Gazi, and all the best for always. Thanks, Gazi. In previous years, maybe the Premier League hasn't been so kind to you, but do you feel like you're in the best place now to compete in the Premier League? Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing well. I just need to, you know, over the last. A couple of months has been uh, my form has been up and down a little bit. I didn't play brilliant in the world, and I still won it. But you know, I just I just want to be playing it week in week out at my best, and then see how people can deal with me because I'm winning games when I'm not at my best. But it's not good for my confidence. You know, I'm scraping over over the winning line. I'm missing a couple of doubles. I'm still winning, but I'm not playing well. I just want to go out, give, give my best, play hundred percent, and then. And then see, you know, see how other players can play against me when I'm playing my best. How important was the win and the performance as well on the pro tour just a week or so before the Premier League? Yeah, it's been good for me. Obviously, the first the first day, like I said, I missed a couple of doubles against Brendan, and he he's been playing fantastic. Went on to win that event, and I was kicking myself because you know I was five two down in in the game, and I think I I, I should have possibly been five two up if I took my chances, but. You know, that, that's probably what's let me down the last couple of weeks is missing doubles. My scoring game is, is always there. But yeah, it's uh, nice to get a win under my belt, get the confidence back. And yeah, I've practiced a bit more now as well over the last week or so. So I'm in a good place and I'm looking forward to, to getting out there tomorrow night. And obviously the Premier League is in blocks of um, events. Obviously there's five days and then there's four about 10 days later. Thing that allows you to get a bit of momentum going. Obviously, there's not as much travelling as well involved as there usually would be in the Premier League. Yeah, I think so. I think possibly that's where I haven't been at my best over the last couple of years because it's just one game, you know, every week, and you can get can't really get any consistency going. But yeah, if if I get on the blocks well tomorrow, then it'll give me confidence week uh, day in you know, for for the next five days. So. Yeah, but it can work on the other hand as well. If you don't start off well, it can just roll on for the next five days. So, you know, I just need to get out the blocks well tomorrow. Oh, brilliant. Cheers for your time, Gazzy. Cheers. Thanks.